Hello everyone, welcome back to Mr. Anderson's Algebra 1 Lessons. And today, what we're going to be doing in my lesson is we're going to be talking about finding the LCM. Okay, so we're going to find the lowest common multiple, which basically is um, you have two numbers or more, um, and they all have multiples of each other, and what you're looking for is the smallest of those multiples that they share to put that in a nutshell so I wanted to do a couple examples with you today on how to find the lowest common multiple and it really builds off of what we talked about last week with the greatest common factor or GCF so I'm going to start off with an example today um, and I'm going to find the lowest common multiple of 18 and 27. Now, a lot of the th things that we learned last week was building that factor tree and using the prime factorization. And so, I'm going to be building off of that, and some of you might like to make that list of your factors off to the side so that um, you have those factors to start with. And so, I'm just making my factors of 18 and I'm making my factors of 27 and this is going to help me make my prime factorization okay so I got my factors and now I'm going to factor uh, prime factor 18 and for this case I'm going to choose 2 and 9 and I'm going to continue on factoring 9 and I get 3 and 3 and then 2 is already a prime number so I'm just going to bring that down and so this is my prime factorization for 18 okay then I'm going to find my prime factorization for 27 and I'm going to choose this guy 3 and 3 and 9 because if I chose 1 and 27 I'd just be going in a circle and I just start back at square one um, 1 is a prime number and 27 is not I'm actually looking for the factors of it so the only other option is 3 and 9 so I'm going to put that up there like this and 9 has factors of 3 and 3 and 3 just comes down and so I'm just these are my prime factorizations now what builds off of last week we found the GCF from this factor tree and what we were looking for then was um, repeating numbers so that we could use that to find those uh, greatest common factors and so I'm going to actually find the greatest common factor and in this case it's a, three, a repeating 3 here, a repeating 3 there, there's another repeating 3 here and another repeating 3 there and I notice that there's no repeating 2's so my GCF is going to be 3 times 3 which is 9 so my GCF of this guy is 9. Now, what we didn't really talk about was how to find the lowest common multiple. And when you find the lowest common multiple, we got these two guys right here, these two numbers, and they're just kind of sitting off to the side. Well, you can use them to help you find the lo lowest common multiple. And so what you would do is you can choose either side. I'm going to show you both. Um, but you could choose either side and what you do is you take that little guy right there and you're going to multiply that little guy by the opposite number that's on the top so in this case it's 18 so you'd multiply 3 times 18 to get the lowest common multiple okay and you can also do that on this side so what you would do here is you would take the 2 and you would multiply that up here okay so you'd multiply 2 times 27 now if we do this correctly we're gonna get the same exact answer so checking my work 3 times 18 is 54 and 2 times 27 is also 54. So that means my lowest common multiple is 54. 
and that's what I'm looking for today. So this 54, this is the smallest number that 20, 27 and 18, they share a multiple of. So 54 is the smallest multiple they share. Okay? That's what it's really saying. Now, today we came up with a question in class. I'd like to go over this one with you guys. And in this case, we started off with 12 and 47. Okay? Now, um, I put this up as a challenge question to my students, and they all can factor 12, which is 6 and 2, and factor it down to 3 and 2. So these are the prime factors of 12. But 47 is kind of a weird one because 47 is a prime, which is basically a number that can only be divisible by 1 and itself. So our prime factorization of 47 is actually 1 and 47. And so that's really what I have. Um, now a lot of people would get confused as what the GCF is. And the GCF of this guy, of this set, is actually 1. There's no other numbers they share except 1. 1 is the biggest factor that they share. And if you were to make a factored list of each of these, 1 is the greatest number they have. So the GCF of these two numbers is actually 1. So starting us off there. Now, here's the fun part. Since there's no repeating numbers to find the GCF, the GCF is equal to 1, but that makes um, finding the least common multiple uh, a little bit more tricky because you're going to have a large number that both of them go into. So finding the lowest common multiple, I'm going to take the numbers that I have over here. So in this case, I have 47 and I'm going to multiply it by 12. Okay, since there's no repeating numbers, that's what I have. Um, I'd also have to take 1 and do the same thing. Okay, so right there I would have 47 times 1 times 12, and that would give me one way to find my lowest common multiple. And then the next way I could take 3, 2, and 2. and multiply it by 47. So 3 times 2 times 2 times 47 will also give me my lowest common multiple. Now, if you can put 2 and 2 together, basically these are the same number sentence and they should match up to find the lowest common multiple. So for this case, I'm just going to multiply it through and what I get is I get 564 for both of them. That's my lowest common multiple. Okay? So there we have it. There's my lowest common multiple for that guy. And so what I'd like to finish with is an example where you find the lowest common multiple of three numbers. Okay? So Finding the lowest common multiple of three numbers, I'm going to shift this up here. Okay. And these three numbers, I'm going to choose um, to find the lowest common multiple of 18, 27, and 32. And I'm finding the LCM. Okay. So I'm going to find an LCM of both of those, and in this case, there's a couple more steps that we need to do. The first thing that we need to do, again, obviously, is to put it in our factor tree for prime factorization. So in this case, I'm going to factor 18, and I'm going to get 2 times 9, which gives me 3 and 3. Okay, bringing it down. 
And then I'm going to factor 27 into 3 times 9. These factor into 3. Bring that down to 3. And then I'm going to factor 32. I'm going to factor 32 into 8 and 4. That factors out into 2 and 4, which factors out into 2 times 2 and 2 times 2. So basically, we have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which is a lot. So I'm just going to separate these guys right here a little bit, and I'm going to rewrite the factors at the bottom so we can all see. You have 2 times 3 times 3 here for 18. You have 3 times 3 times 3 for 27. And you have 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 for 32. Now, here's how you find the lowest common multiple for three numbers or more. So what you can do is you can stack your 18, your 27, and your 32 on top of each other. And what you're going to do is you're going to write out your prime factorization right there. So for 18, it was 2 times 3 times 3. For 27, it was 3 times 3 times 3. And for 32, it was 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Oh my gosh. Now that I have that, I'm ready to build my lowest common multiple. So LCM, here we come. So what you do is you start with the smallest number and you look for those repeating numbers again. But you're looking for the, the highest number over here. So you got all these numbers. You're looking for the one that has the most, the most of that number. So in this case, we're going to take a look at 2. And number 32 has five twos. And you're going to use that to build your lowest common multiple. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to bring it over here. So that's going to give me 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. Okay? Then you go to the next number, um, which is 3. Actually, I need to mention something first. After I wrote out all of those twos, there's 2 and 18, but we don't need to take that with us when we multiply for a common multiple. So I'm just going to cross that off. The next thing I do is I look for the next number. So in this case, it's 3. And I'm looking for the most 3's that are prime factors. In this case, 27 has 3 3's. So again, I'm going to take those and bring them off to my LCM. So 3 times 3 times 3. Now in 18, there's two threes. Those are kind of left over. We just kind of toss them out. So we don't need those guys. This number right here, when I multiply it all the way out, is going to give me my lowest common multiple for 18, 27, and 32. Okay? So using using the communicative property or commutative property, I can multiply all those numbers any way I want and what I end up with is this 864 okay so the lowest common multiple between 18, 27, and 32 meaning the lowest number that all three of these guys can multiply and share is 864 this has been Algebra 1 Lessons with Matt. Uh, thank you again for tuning in. And uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Please share the video. Please comment. And have a good day. Talk to you soon.